house of grace. But the problem is grace was only in a temporary state. It was not permanently affixed to this place. And that's the problem with a few of us. We come and we come into worship. We come into relationship with the man of the woman of God and not necessarily the God of the man of the woman of God. I know I'm not making much sense to anybody. The problem is we're trying to build something with the priesthood, with the leadership of the house, with the leadership of the flock, but we're not necessarily building a new relationship with the leader himself. I feel like preaching under the authority of the Holy Ghost. And so the Bible says that the building is looking real good, that all of the accentuates are in place. For a matter of fact, it carries the right name. It carries the right identity. But the problem is, ain't nothing happening there. The Word of God lets us know that there's only about once in a season that an angel comes down and stirs the pool. I feel like preaching to a few folks who's not willing to settle. Because one of the things I want you to understand, the pool represents, I want you to hear me well, it represents potential grace. Now there's a big difference between potential grace because Jesus comes and he shows you divinely and insightfully exactly what manifested grace is all about. I just said something big because I'm not going to hang around anything that only has the potential. I'm not going to walk around anything that's only acting like. I'm not going to walk around nothing that is duplicating. I'm looking for the origin. I'm looking for the original. I'm looking for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Many of us decide to your demise. The brothers and my sisters, we came into church, but we didn't really come looking for a move of the Holy Ghost. We came into church, but we didn't really come looking to be set free, the sanctified, Holy Ghost field. We didn't really came looking to be delivered, looking to be stirred, looking to be shifted, looking to be anchored, looking to be redirected, looking to be led, looking to be directed in and guided by the peace of God that surpass all understanding. It's a few of us. We came into church, but the problem is we're looking for the physical. We're looking for the natural. And we're chasing off the spirit of the Lord. 